Yeah. Uh, but for you, I'm, I mean, I'm really thrilled to be with all of you, and I have to tell you, I'm feeling very over, I'm feeling very verklempt. <laughs> it's so lovely to see this incredible turnout. Thank you so much. I just want to talk for a few minutes about uh, the history of the book in a manner of speaking, and then we want to open it up to a, a, a Q&A session. Um, louder? Yes? How far back are you all? Oh my god, louder is right. I don't want to deafen the people in the front, though. They're in Northport. <laughs> so I, I wanted to t just to tell you that originally, when I began thinking about this book, I wanted to present a, a kind of antidote to bad behavior, which is in abundance around us. And living in New York City, I see it all the time. Um, you want to get off the subway, but no one will let you because they're barging their way into the subway. You want to get up out of the subway, and you can't because there are 10 people on, on each of the steps, or 10 people each on one step, figuring out their Blackberry and getting a signal back. Um, so it, it really began as a kind of modern manners for the digital world. and. It then evolved into something that was much more about, well, in order to demonstrate these golden rules, I needed to pepper it, or I began to pepper the book with a lot of personal anecdotes and observations. But I have to also tell you, I had a meltdown about a month into this process, and I called my agent, Peter Steinberg, who was here. Peter, where are you? Peter? There would be no book without Peter. I said, Peter, I cannot do this. Let's postpone it. Let's let's push this back. Um, it's just there are too many moving parts. I can't handle it. And Peter said, very calmly, he said, "There's someone I want you to meet, and her name is Ada Calhoun." And I choke up when I think about it. Ada, come up, come up, come up, come up. This is a miracle worker. This incredible woman. She really is. And I met Ada, and I thought. Good heavens, I have a therapist again. Um, and she is therapist, disciplinarian, and stealth-like editor. And Ada said to me, just turn over 5,000 words a week. 5,000 words a week is all I ask. 5,000 words a week, I still remember my exclamation. She said, I'll make sense out of it. And I got to the point where I was sort of borderline cynical about it. It was like, okay, here, Ada, here, just have all this stuff. And God bless you. You did make sense of it. I could never have done it. So honestly, without Peter Steinberg, without Kate Ada Calhoun, there would be no book. 